Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make timers, countdown timers. I use these quite often in the classroom when I'm doing projects or when using games, when I need to count down a time to keep track of um, however long the activity is going. So, I'm going to show you how I make timers. So first I want to start off with a blank slide. So I go to layout and click click blank. Next thing you want to do is choose a design. So click on the design tab and choose a color scheme that you like. I'm going to use this one for our example. I like this one. Okay, there's many different ones as you can see. So that's the one that I like. Next thing we have to do is insert a text box. Okay, so here's my text box. I'm going to put the number 5 down because I am counting down from 5. Now if you want to make this bigger, just click on the size. You can make it bigger than that as well. Just see this little A with the arrow going up? There you go. You can pump it a few times. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I also want to center the 5 within the box. Now it looks great, but it has no border. I actually like to have borders around my numbers, so I'm going to click on this and then right click, go to Format Shape, see Line Color? Well, I'm going to click on that and choose Solid Line and I'm going to choose Black as my color. And I'm going to go to Line Style and make the border a little bit thicker, so I'm going to do 3. Okay, great. Now, close. So that's what it looks like. Great. Let me just center it a little bit more. Okay, so now that we created our number box, we need to animate it. So select the box, click Animations, go to Custom Animation. Here you will see Add Effect. So we want to click on that and go to Exit. You can choose any of these, but I prefer to use the Fade. So here's a little preview. Great, so that's what it's going to look like. Now, if you click on this and double click it, this little box will come out. And here, under the Timing tab, you can decide how long it will take before it actually goes from beginning to end, before it disappears. So since I'm doing seconds, I'm just going to move this to seconds. But here, if you double click and erase this, you can basically put any amount of seconds that you want. So I'm using one. Okay, so that's okay. Good. Now another important thing that you need to um, pay attention to is this section right here where it says advanced slide. You need to click on this automatically after and since we're doing seconds I want every slide to come automatically after one second. So that's really important. Alright, so let's just preview what that looks like. Great, that's exactly what I want. So now I need to duplicate this slide by right clicking on here, duplicate. I want to do it five times. So let's duplicate again, duplicate again, duplicate again. Excellent. Now I'm going to go here and change the numbers because I want them to descend. So now I'll go here, delete, three, go here, click, delete, two, go here, click, delete, one. Great. So let's just see what it looks like. So go to slideshow and then from the beginning let's view the slideshow. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Great. So that is what our count time, countdown timer looks like. It's really easy to make and you can use it in your ESL classrooms. And I hope that this tutorial was useful. Leave me a comment um, below and tell me if this was useful for you. If there's any improvements or any questions you have, leave me a comment below and let me know and I'm sure to respond to it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk soon.